Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and gas time once again. And, um, and let me go ahead and, um, let me go ahead and, oh, 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 let me get this window out of here real quick. Oh, go ahead and clear that out, too. Okay, so let me go ahead and intro this real quick. This is going to be a drive in downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, I, I kind of, I kind of liked doing this yesterday and uh, during last night's stream as well, even though maybe three people showed up to, even though maybe three people showed up to it. So, so I thought I'd go ahead and continue this. And uh, I, I've got a little bit of stuff, but uh, it's it's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be a huge amount. So let me go ahead and get this fired up. And I did forget to sound test this. Oh wow, looks like I got it right the first time, so sound level is almost perfect. So, um, but this, this is gonna be part, I don't, I'm, the, doing the timing for this is gonna be kind of tricky, but, um, I watched part of this already, and he stops at a lot of stoplights, so, but this is gonna be both a cast and a commentary video, so, um, uh, but again, this is going to be kind of tricky to pull off. I'm kind of first time doing this, but when he's at stoplights, I'll go ahead and do the cast part of this. When he's actually driving, I'll do the commentary part. But like I said, I this is just something that immediately popped up in my head. So. So I guess if, uh, if it, in case anyone's curious as to why I'm doing these kind of videos, well, I'm sure as hell I'm not going to be able to drive down here anytime soon. I mean, especially with gas prices at almost $4 a gallon. Plus, I there's nothing I really need down here in uh, Minneapolis. All I would be doing is pretty much just driving, but the problem with that is uh, I haven't been down here in many, many years, so I'd get lost. And then something else, too. I think I talked about this in yesterday's cast video. And I also mentioned it, too, on um, or one of my favorite channels, not just bikes. They kind of said the same thing, too. What the hell? You know, there's really not much point in uh, having designated bike paths. You know, like right out here on the side of the damn street. I mean, that's not going to stop us from running you over. I mean, you're just as likely to get killed. Perhaps even more so, depending on where they're positioned, as you would if you're just, you know, biking on the side of the highway or on the sidewalk. I mean, if we're drunk and driving, we ain't gonna give a shit. So, but um, but to start with, um, but today's pinball stream, um, it actually went all right. Um, in pinball FX3. I beat a couple high. I even managed to beat a couple tournaments, like two or three tournaments. Like I placed first, so yeah. Um, pinball arcade, and it went average. Just win some, lose some. And Zachariah pinball actually went pretty good though. I mean, definitely didn't do as good as FX3, but I think I did better better in uh, Zachariah than I did in uh, pinball arcade. So, yeah. It's pretty rare. Usually it's the other way around. I mean, usually uh, Zachariah is my worst game, followed by Arcade and then FX3. So. Oh, you got lucky. The light turned green. This is one thing I definitely don't miss about uh, back when I I used to work uh, vending beer at, uh, at uh, uh, Tulsa Hockey Games constant stop and go
So. So that's how they're doing it these days, huh? Disney. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of thinking to myself here. It's like... Why don't you just make a full-blown... You know, a full-blown restaurant. You know, a full-blown Pizza Hut restaurant instead of... Uh, instead of just... Uh, stick it in some building that looks like a... Kind of looks like a warehouse. You know, you got these, um, you got these, uh, docks over here and stuff, and then you got Pizza Hut. Unless this is an actual distribution center or something, but it just doesn't make much sense. I mean, and it, 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 it and, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't say because, well, there's probably no room in the city, Joe, so they have to stick Pizza Hut to wherever they can. Uh-uh. Um, I think the way they do it is they'll um, they'll probably uh, they'll probably uh, buy out the land or buy out the location of wherever they want to build their next Pizza Hut, you know, you know, cut the owner a big old massive check to move out and then put the Pizza Hut in its place. So it, it really isn't that hard to to plunk down a brand new uh, new restaurant. So it. I don't, I don't get why they want to make a restaurant inside of a freaking warehouse building. It doesn't make much sense. Because like I said, they could buy the locations easily. Okay, let me, let me back it up again. And again, um, I was saying this. The Not Just Bikes channel is also saying this. What's the point? I mean, yeah, it's it's great they're doing, you know, it's great they're doing something to address the uh, car dependency issue, but, I mean, they're going to have to do more than just paint some green rectangles. Because, again, and, and if you look at the way it's positioned, too, it's like the... I mean, the bike, the bike path is more out in the open, more towards the center of the intersection. It's actually a little more dangerous than the white lines, where it's actually, it's less in the middle of the intersection and more towards the uh, sidewalk. So yeah, it's actually more dangerous having the bike path out here. You know, and again, it's, it's redundant. I mean, you know, up until now, I'm sure the bikes are just biking right along with the pedestrians, no big deal. So, yeah. And they got the back, you know, again, it's more dangerous having a bike path out here right next to the cars. And again, having this here ain't got to stop the cars from running them over. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. That, but that is one thing about the Twin Cities that I really like. I don't know if other places in the country have this, but uh, connected uh, walkways. Hold on, just hold on. <sighs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, I like this. It means I can just um, if I want to cross the street, I can just take this, and not have to risk getting uh, squashed by a car trying to trying to cross here. And and yeah, there's a. Uh, yeah, there's, you know, there's walk signals and stuff like that. But again, if I'm drunk as fuck, I ain't got to give two shits about whether or not uh, the the walk light is turned on or not. Huh? I, 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 fuck him. Yeah, you don't move. Just get out of my way. You know, that kind of thing, you know. So, that's why I like these. Raised by wolves. Target center. Yep. Bat fingered. Yep. 
Target Center. Where the Minnesota Wild, the Minnesota Twins, and I think the Minnesota Vikings as well. It's where they all play. Personally, I miss the um, I miss the old stadium. You know, kind of like um, kind of like Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. As far as I know, to this day, they haven't modernized that place. It's still the same old football stadium that it was many, many, many years ago. Too bad we couldn't have done that. Okay, um, so this part here, I am going to have a fair amount to talk about. I'll just go ahead and pause it. Um, but yeah, one of, one other thing I did watch earlier today, um, one of my, um, uh, one of my favorite channels, his name is Wolfelmonger, uh, he's a legendary fighting game player, uh, content creator, but, um, he put out a new video, um, like, I, I can't remember the exact name, but, uh, it's a bunch of, uh, it's called the AT&T Annihilator Cup. Uh, it's a tournament. Well, um, well, apparently there was a whole bunch of crying and raging and tear jerking and all that because out of um, out of all the games they had, I mean, these guys are, I mean, they're first person shooter people, and um, I need to do something real quick. I totally forgot. I gotta, I, I gotta get this resolved now. Just, otherwise, it's going to be a horrendous mess later. Kind of goofed up the setup here. Okay, I think that should do it. Okay, anyway. But yeah, um, and I think I can go ahead and um, run the video again. Just... But yeah, out of um, you know, out of all the first-person shooter games, like what's wrong with this picture? Yeah, they got a damn fighting game in there. You know, so I mean, why? That that was, I mean, that was my question while I was watching this video. Why the hell do they have a fighting game in there? You know, when all the other content in here is just first-person shooters. I mean, this is what you know. This is. This is what you turn what these tournament players are used to playing. You know? But then you throw a uh, and then they decide to go out and throw them a curve and put a damn fighting game in there. So But yeah, like but but like I saw in this video, a lot a lot of raging going on. A lot of saltiness, frustration, and and uh Rufo Monger was saying what I was saying. Totally understandable why they'd be mad. They're not fighting gamers. So I think the, uh, I, I find it, I find it disrespectful on the part of the uh, tournament organizers to actually do this. I mean, but, I mean, but personally, you know, whatever some, you know, whatever these guys are saying, I can't do this, I can't do fighting games, there's no way, it's impossible, I just totally stuck at them. Uh, Broly legs, buddy. Broly legs. I mean, that, I mean, that's what got me into fighting games. I saw a documentary on him. I'm like, no excuses. So, now, now, granted, I mean, these these kids are not going to be no Takedo or Justin Wong or anything like that. But I mean, they can do it. They can get better at them. You know, but I mean, once again, you know, to kind of reiterate, I mean, I, I totally, I totally get the frustration. Uh, green light, buddy. Whew, wake up. Oh, whoa, 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 back that up, back that, back that up. Whoa, damn, that's, that's pretty cool. 
That's like a double decker right there. That'd be freaking awesome if, like, That'd be freaking awesome right there if they were like a, if they could do this on like in these big skyscrapers, have all these walkways go on from one skyscraper to another, that'd be fucking killer. Although I could, I could, I could see why they couldn't, because yeah, that would be a massive undertaking. Having a walkways and all these, uh, just a lot of work, you know, putting walkways in like every two or three floors. So, I mean, I, I guess it's kind of a recap. You know, this is a little disrespectful on the part of the uh, tournament organizers doing something like this. I mean, you know, you need to consider your audience, consider your tournament players. I mean, if they're not, if they're not fighting gamers, don't put a fighting game in there. You know, you'd think that'd be tournament organizing 101 or something. And, um, I would have, um, uh, I actually would have put it up, put up some of the, uh, some of the salty moments that these, uh, these gamers are doing, but, God, that, that would literally take me all night trying to, trying to find the footage, trying to clip it all, trying to get it all set up and stuff, and then hope to hell I don't fuck it all up afterwards. So, yeah. But yeah, just, suffice to say that there was a whole lot of, I can't do this shit! I can't fucking do it! You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, like here. Something like this, man. That would be freaking cool as hell. If you could lit if they could literally make walkways every few floors all the way up. Like as high as it can go. Man, and imagine the view. You know, like if you're way like if you're way up at the top like this, man, you wouldn't even want to go from one building to another. Just stop about halfway. Sit on a bench and just watch all the cars go by. All the cars and people. This is like a people watcher's dream right here. Um, but um, one more, one more thing I gotta mention too. Um, okay. I think I must have did that wrong. Anyway, um, we got a little... I tried, uh... I tried uploading my, uh, my... Or today's, uh, pinball stream. Like, uh, on my... One of my Twitch settings is, um... I have it set to automatically record as I'm streaming. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, try uploading it this time instead of just exporting it from Twitch to YouTube. Um, but if I'm still getting 360 pixels, then unless I have a very, very, very good reason to do so, I'll no longer be exporting my uh, Twitch streams to YouTube because it's, you know, going through all that, going through all that weight for uh, videos that are only 360 pixels. I mean, when I stream, it's 720, so it's not nearly as hard on the eyes, but... I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but whenever I export that video to YouTube, it comes out as 360. Like, the quality is, like, cut in half. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I'm gonna try and upload. Kind of like what I do with these, uh, cast videos that...
they they do come up at 720. I'm gonna try that with my stream bid. Or I let me rephrase that. I am doing that with a stream bid. If it's still gonna be 360, then yeah, I'm no longer gonna be doing this. Cause it's pretty much an all afternoon, all evening project. I'm basically cause uploading stuff it uses up some of my computer resources. So I can't really do a whole lot else. And um, my stream bids are usually around 15 gigabytes. So you're looking at about, I think it's about three hours at least just to get it uploaded. So, so yeah, but if it still comes out at 360, then I'll no longer be exporting because it's not worth the hassle. I mean, not when my quality, not when my quality gets kneecapped in the process. Mom, take out another drink. Yeah, I don't miss this. The constant stop and go. But yeah, whenever, uh, whenever I'm driving downtown Tulsa, I had to put up with this. Oh, damn. Let me back that up a bit. WCCO Radio. Yeah, um, I grew up listening to the that radio station a lot when I was a kid. My grandparents as well. Amazingly, it's still up and running. Church. St. Olaf Catholic Church. Sounds familiar. Oh, I'm surprised there's not a picture of uh, Betty White here or something. You know, the, the girl on Golden Girls. But anyway, um... I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it good. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say today, so. So, yeah, that'll do her. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And uh, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, so. But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.